The start of any journey begins with planning. This will determine whether you accomplish what you set out to do or if you're left to wonder where it all went wrong. While researching the same topic over and over can seem redundant, it's the fascination of wanting to learn more about the topic that keeps things fresh. Oftentimes, there's so much information out there that you have to be selective about what you want to retain, and if most of it is accurate, you'll find yourself in a plot twist of your own. Our journey began on an early summer morning when I met up with my buddy Hans to tackle the Georgia Traverse. If you're not familiar with the Georgia Traverse, it is a route that begins in northern Alabama and crosses through the North Georgia mountains until you reach South Carolina. Along the way, you cross over into Tennessee and North Carolina. The entire route is right under 400 miles and about 65% of it is off-road. Our vehicles of choice were a 2021 Forerunner and a 2021 Jeep Gladiator, both of which were plenty capable for overland travel. While these builds were overkill for the Traverse, we really enjoyed having all the features and convenience that they provided. While I had my fair share of land nav on this trip, my main focus was the food. For those that know me, cooking is a huge part of my life and may very well be my love language. As some of you know, planning for meals to cook over a course of several days can be a challenge, but I had it covered. Overall, the Georgia Traverse was a great trip and a great representation of what can be experienced here in the Southeast when it comes to adventure touring. We had a plan, capable rigs, and were motivated to see what nature had in store for us. We even saw some bears, a coyote, and plenty of wild turkeys. We deviated from the route a few times, but we were careful not to stray too far off the course. Except we did, and it paid off in terms of rugged trails and finding the perfect camp spots. But as a trade-off, it made our days longer and camp would have to wait until later in the afternoon. If someone asked us about the Traverse, it would resemble most of what you find online. However, some of the details would vary from what's out there as we made this trip our own with the few variations we added in. For you to find the most accurate version of the Georgia Traverse, you'll have to experience it for yourself. And once you know, you know. <laughs>